this is something that has been really a holy grail for the energy transition. Uh, we all know that wind and, and solar energy are great, uh, non-carbon ways to generate electricity, but they're intermittent. And we're trying to get to a 24 seven, 365 day a year uh, decarbonized energy system. And you simply don't do that. Elon Musk has unveiled an astonishing breakthrough saltwater batteries that could potentially challenge the reign of lithium-ion technology. Recent developments by two innovative U.S. companies, Solgen X and ESS, have introduced this game-changing concept, batteries powered by saltwater. Water, the most abundant and accessible resource on our planet, is the key ingredient in these remarkable batteries. Unlike lithium, which is facing a global shortage and unstable supply, Water is readily available, covering over 70% of the Earth's surface. This stark contrast in availability and stability has sent shockwaves through the battery industry. Because the market wants a safe, environmentally sound, and natural battery technology. And we are want to deliver that to our customers. The global battery market is witnessing an extraordinary transformation. The new saltwater batteries are projected to register a staggering compound annual growth rate, CAGR, of 24.14% from 2022 to 2030. This growth rate is nearly 1.5 times higher than that of traditional lithium-ion batteries, which were previously considered the industry leader with an expansion rate of over 16.5%. This meteoric rise demonstrates the rapid evolution of these new batteries, positioning them to soon dominate the energy storage sector. So, what sets these saltwater batteries apart from their lithium counterparts? How do they outperform traditional batteries? And most importantly, when can we expect them to replace the established lithium-ion technology? Let's find out! Elon Musk's latest revelation is set to revolutionize the world of energy storage, saltwater batteries. These batteries are not only safe and non-flammable, but also boast long lifespans and eco-friendly properties. Unlike traditional lithium-ion batteries, which rely on scarce and volatile raw materials, saltwater batteries utilize a mixture of water and salt as their electrolyte. But how do they actually work? Saltwater batteries operate on three fundamental principles. They consist of two tanks, an analyte and a cathlite, that surround a central chamber. Liquid electrolytes flow from these tanks into the respective sides of the chamber through a process known as reduction. During charging, electrons transfer from the cathlite to the analyte, a phenomenon known as redoxing. The tanks contain a proprietary electrolyte with dissolved chlorine gas, while the other tank is filled with sodium chloride and water. This unique chemistry, similar to sodium batteries, generates electricity through the movement of sodium ions. What makes saltwater batteries even more intriguing is their affordability. Salgen X, an American company, has developed a saltwater flow battery utilizing saltwater and vanadium electrolyte. They claim that their battery costs less than $100 per kilowatt hour, primarily due to the low cost of electrolytes, which amount to less than $5 per kilowatt hour. Another US company, ESS, is experimenting with saltwater flow batteries using iron salts and water, further reducing costs. By leveraging the abundance and cost-effectiveness of saltwater, these batteries offer a promising alternative to traditional options. Saltwater batteries have gained popularity in recent years as a cheaper and more sustainable energy storage solution. However, comparing their prices to other battery types can be complex. Battery prices vary depending on factors such as size, technology, and intended use. For example, Solgen X claims a cost of $257 per kilowatt hour for system infrastructure, while the total cost of their 3,000 kilowatt hour battery is $500,000, equating to $166 per kilowatt hour. The use of common and affordable materials, coupled with simplified manufacturing processes, contributes to their cost advantage. Elon Musk's latest revelation is set to revolutionize the world of energy storage, saltwater batteries. These batteries are not only safe and non-flammable, but also boast long lifespans and eco-friendly properties. Unlike traditional lithium-ion batteries, which rely on scarce and volatile raw materials, saltwater batteries utilize a mixture of water and salt as their electrolyte. 
But how do they actually work? Saltwater batteries operate on three fundamental principles. They consist of two tanks, an analyte and a catholite, that surround a central chamber. Liquid electrolytes flow from these tanks into the respective sides of the chamber through a process known as reduction. During charging, electrons transfer from the catholite to the analyte, a phenomenon known as redoxing. The tanks contain a proprietary electrolyte with dissolved chlorine gas, while the other tank is filled with sodium chloride and water. This unique chemistry, similar to sodium batteries, generates electricity through the movement of sodium ions. What makes saltwater batteries even more intriguing is their affordability. Salgen X, an American company, has developed a saltwater flow battery utilizing saltwater and vanadium electrolyte. They claim that their battery costs less than $100 per kilowatt hour, primarily due to the low cost of electrolytes, which amount to less than $5 per kilowatt hour. Another US company, ESS, is experimenting with saltwater flow batteries using iron salts and water, further reducing costs. By leveraging the abundance and cost-effectiveness of salt water, these batteries offer a promising alternative to traditional options. Saltwater batteries have gained popularity in recent years as a cheaper and more sustainable energy storage solution. However, comparing their prices to other battery types can be complex. Battery prices vary depending on factors such as size, technology, and intended use. For example, Celgen X claims a cost of $257 per kilowatt hour for system infrastructure, while the total cost of their 3,000 kilowatt hour battery is $500,000 equating to $166 per kilowatt hour. The use of common and affordable materials, coupled with simplified manufacturing processes, contributes to their cost advantage. Furthermore, saltwater batteries excel in terms of longevity. With a lifespan of up to 25 years, they surpass the shelf life of lithium EV batteries, 15, 20 years, and far exceed lead acid batteries, around five years. This longevity, combined with their low maintenance requirements, positions saltwater batteries as a formidable contender in the competitive battery industry. Now let's explore the exciting details and discover why saltwater batteries are making waves in the energy industry. Imagine a battery that is not only extremely durable, but also has a significantly longer lifespan than its counterparts. Well, that's exactly what saltwater batteries offer. These batteries can last for nearly 5,000 cycles, which is five times higher than the average lifespan of lithium-ion batteries, lasting around 1,000 cycles. In comparison, even the trusty lead-acid battery pales in comparison, with a life cycle of only 500 cycles, making saltwater batteries a staggering 10 times more long-lasting. But here's the really exciting part. Saltwater batteries can even surpass their indicated cycles safely, unlike lithium-ion batteries, which can become hazardous or lose their efficiency over time, saltwater batteries are not prone to explosions or degradation. This means you won't have to replace a saltwater battery as frequently as you would a lithium-ion battery, ultimately saving you money in the long run. What makes saltwater batteries even more intriguing is their simple design and the direct control they offer over energy storage capacities. As long as there is enough electrolyte, a saltwater battery can theoretically increase its storage capacity by increasing the size of the tanks and adding more electrode cell stacks. This means more power and flexibility in meeting your energy needs. Speaking of cost, saltwater batteries have a massive advantage over their counterparts when it comes to material costs. Salt and water, the main components of these batteries, are widely available and relatively inexpensive. For instance, the price of salt is around $80 per ton, which is significantly lower than the raw material cost of manufacturing lithium batteries, which can reach $37,000 per ton. This cost advantage translates into financial benefits for consumers. Additionally, saltwater batteries offer savings through reduced maintenance. Unlike some battery technologies that require regular upkeep, saltwater batteries have minimal maintenance requirements, saving you time, effort, and potential expenses. Let's not forget about safety. Saltwater batteries are non-toxic and non-hazardous, setting them apart from traditional batteries that often contain toxic chemicals. You can handle and dispose of saltwater batteries without worrying about harmful effects on the environment. 
Furthermore, these batteries are fire-resistant and non-flammable, eliminating the risk of fires or explosions. Companies like ESS have successfully utilized salt, water, and iron electrolyte in their salt water batteries, ensuring safety and peace of mind for users. Moreover, salt water batteries have a significantly lower risk of leakage compared to traditional batteries. The absence of corrosive chemicals means that even in the rare event of a container rupture, there is no danger to human contact. The contents of a saltwater battery are simply salt and water, making them safer and more user-friendly. Last but not least, saltwater batteries are environmentally friendly. They do not contribute to pollution or pose significant threats to ecosystems. With their non-toxic nature and minimal environmental impact, these batteries align with the goals of sustainability and clean energy. What sets saltwater batteries apart is their low environmental impact during production. While other battery processes involve hazardous chemicals like cyanide or mercury, saltwater battery production requires nothing more than salts, water, and manual labor. Yes, you read that right! These batteries can be assembled entirely by hand without the need for electricity or other energy sources, making the production process incredibly eco-friendly. Furthermore, the safety factor of saltwater batteries allows for easier recycling and disposal. Discarded battery parts can be recycled more easily, as saltwater batteries do not contain harmful elements like lead or heavy metals found in other batteries. In contrast, the dismantling of lithium-ion batteries requires specialized handling due to their explosion potential and other batteries made with harmful elements pose risks during recycling. What makes saltwater batteries truly impressive is their high energy density. With an energy density of 100 watt-hours per kilogram, saltwater batteries pack a powerful punch. In comparison, lead-acid batteries have a much lower energy density of 25 to 35 watt-hours per kilogram, making saltwater batteries approximately four times more efficient. This combination of low-cost and high-quality positions saltwater batteries as a viable option for future battery industry replacements. The charging duration of a saltwater battery to reach 100% capacity varies depending on its initial state of charge. If the battery is completely empty, it takes approximately one hour to fully charge. Saltwater batteries typically have a 0.5C rate, so for the initial charging process, it is recommended to limit the current to around 0.5 amps. The versatility of saltwater batteries is another standout feature. They can be charged and discharged just like any 48-volt battery bank, making them compatible with various renewable energy sources. Whether you're utilizing solar panels, wind turbines, microhydro systems, or connecting to the grid or a generator, saltwater batteries seamlessly integrate into your energy storage setup. They allow for full discharge without harming the battery and have the capacity to store energy for days or even weeks without a charge. With such resilience and reliability, battery maintenance systems to control the charge become unnecessary. In terms of temperature range, saltwater batteries exhibit impressive performance. They can safely operate in a fairly wide range, from 23 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit, around minus 5 to 40 degrees Celsius. While they can freeze at 14 degrees Fahrenheit, around minus 10 degrees Celsius, thawing them allows them to resume normal operation. To prevent the battery temperature from dropping below 23 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 5 degrees Celsius, a simple enclosure should suffice. Now let's discuss the factors that influence the operating temperature of batteries. The operating temperature of a battery is influenced by various factors. Firstly, the overall ambient temperature plays a crucial role. Hot or cold environmental conditions can impact the performance and longevity of batteries. The enclosure of the battery is another factor to consider. Whether it is vented or sealed can affect heat dissipation and internal temperature regulation. Additionally, the heat generated by the load itself and the proximity of other heated equipment or external heat sources can influence the operating temperature. Exceeding the recommended operating temperatures can lead to detrimental consequences. For instance, operating a power supply at excessively high temperatures can significantly reduce its lifetime. 
Although occasional operation at slightly higher temperatures may not immediately impact the lifespan, the longer a power supply operates in such conditions, the shorter its overall lifespan becomes. In extreme cases, where the temperature exceeds the limits for extended periods, malfunctions or complete failures can occur, often due to individual component breakdowns caused by the extreme heat. On the flip side, Low temperatures rarely cause product failure or reduced lifespan, except under the most extreme cold conditions. In extreme cold temperatures, especially when batteries are stored for extended periods, the seals on electrolytic capacitors in power supplies can fail. Such failures can result in non-operation or out-of-spec performance of the power supply. Now let's dive into some trivia. The first to commercialize saltwater batteries was the US startup, Storin Technologies. They unveiled a saltwater flow battery for large-scale energy storage, featuring a unique membrane-free design. Unlike traditional flow batteries, Storin's device utilizes two separate tanks of electrolytes, one of which contains saltwater. This innovative approach promises significant cost savings in energy storage. The saltwater tank can also be used for thermal storage in conjunction with a heat pump that employs carbon dioxide as a refrigerant. Storin's strategy involves technology development and licensing to third-party manufacturers for commercialization. Furthermore, in February, ESS Inc., a leading energy storage solutions provider, announced a collaboration with the Turlock Irrigation District in California. They used salt water and iron to manufacture their battery, showcasing the versatility of saltwater battery chemistry. ESS Inc. will also be installing salt water flow battery facilities in Sacramento as part of a collaboration with the Sacramento Municipal Utility District. These developments highlight the growing adoption of salt water batteries in various applications and collaborations with major utilities. So when can salt water batteries become leaders in the battery industry? With their compelling advantages, such as environmental friendliness, high energy density, versatility, and emerging commercialization efforts, salt water batteries have the potential to become significant players in the battery industry in the near future. As research and development continue to advance, and as more collaborations and installations take place, we can anticipate salt water batteries making waves and transforming the energy storage landscape. So, what are your thoughts about the practical applications of salt water batteries? Share with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. Also, if you're a fan of all things technology, be sure to check out this other video we've got lined up for you. It's packed with all the latest news, tips, and tricks to keep you ahead of the curve.